Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Brought to you today by Uta B, the guys who make these brilliant T-shirts and also the brilliant app called Flick, um, which is free to download right now. Uh, thank you, everybody, last night who came on. It was brilliant. We did a live Q&A. We're going to do that again very, very soon on Flick. People were firing loads of questions at me about transfers um, on there last night. And I've got a poll later on in the show that we're going to do on Flick. I'm also going to reveal yesterday's poll that we did on Flick as well. But thank you. That was brilliant last night. And I'm, I'm probably going to get back on there maybe maybe even later on today. But I'll do a little announcement about that and probably on one of our other platforms but thank you very much for that. Um, of course, the reason why we were all on there yesterday was to talk about one thing, one brilliant thing yesterday that has us all buzzing, even though we knew it was coming, Abamyang signing that deal, signing that thing at last. Bloody hell, man. How long did this take? But how good a picture is that? Abamyang signing the thing. Mikel Arteta next to him, he has signed. It is official. New three-year contract said to make him the highest paid um, player at the club, although obviously they haven't revealed all the details in typical Arsenal style. There's suggestions it could be up to £360,000 a week. Um, it does seem like it's about 250 a week with um, incentives making it rise up. But brilliant news that Aubameyang has signed a brand new deal at Arsenal Football Club. Um, he's our best player. He's our captain. He's broken the curse of the captains, right? Think of some of the previous captains we've had, you know, that have all left. The last one being Koscielny, Vermaelen, you know, Fabregas, Henri. You know what I mean? Every time someone gets a captaincy, they go. And also, it's a turning point for Arsenal. We... Since we've moved to the new stadium, we always lose our best player. You know, we have a player, he's doing brilliantly, like Van Persie was, like Nasri was, like Fabregas was, like Alexis was. Somebody comes along, you know, or their contract starts running out and off they go. But um, Aubameyang has decided to stay and uh, his quotes yesterday were really encouraging as well. Um, this is what he said about the deal. He said, of course, I knew about Arsenal before I arrived. Everybody knows how special this club is. I've seen incredible players, passionate players, invincible players. I dream of being um, one of them amongst the best and staying in the hearts of the fans forever. I want to become an Arsenal legend like Thierry, Wrighty, Adams and Burkamp to mention. Uh, too many to mention, he says. My dad is my biggest inspiration. He was a captain of his club and his country, so it means so much to me to be captain of this special club. I want to leave a legacy. This is where I belong. This is family. And I like this uh, motto that they've been adopting uh, recently about this is family and um, certainly his connection with the fans, um, the fact that he is so good. So important to Arsenal. It's a turning point. As I said, I just feel like, even speaking to fans yesterday, I just felt like fans were like, this is different, Robbie. We, 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 we're not used to this. Normally, our best player is gone. We know that. Off he goes. Um, he had offers to go to other clubs. He turned them down to stay at Arsenal. I think it's testament, really, to a Bamiyang. Sorry, to um, Mikel Arteta. Mikel Arteta is the key to this. He's the one that's managed to persuade him. He's the one who's got Arsenal playing. And as well, if you're a player that's considering Arsenal and you see that Aubameyang is staying, that is more likely to make you come because you want to play with players of elite quality. And certainly Aubameyang is a player of elite quality. If he, if he wasn't, say, representing Gabon at international level um, and it was a bigger country, Say he was representing England or Germany or France, he'd be an even bigger name than he is. Honestly, he is an elite striker, and um, we are so happy that he has signed on a new uh, three-year contract, and um, it's absolutely great news for Arsenal. But what next? Who else are we going to bring in? 
Lots of news is that we're targeting two more players. We've spoken about them a lot on the show. One of them, of course, is Hossim Awa. He was in action last night, actually, for um, Lyon. Yesterday, they played against Montpellier in Liga, and he got sent off. Straight red card he got. Studs up challenge. Sent off in the game. And there was lots of people out there yesterday suggesting that that might be his last game at Lyon because obviously going to have to face the, a free match um, ban. That will take him right up to, uh, I think, when the international break is. A lot of people saying that's his last game. Now, is he going to be the player that Arsenal bring in? We know that Leon want £55 million. Um, Edu has a great relationship with the chief of Leon, Janinho, another fellow Brazilian. Could they strike this deal and get this deal done? Arteta is a huge admirer of Hossim Awar. Um, he's like... Another Urzel, he's creative, super creative, but a modern day Urzel in that he works his socks off, he does the pressing, he's still young and he's an unbelievable talent. Could he be on his way to Arsenal? Could he be next? Because Mikel Arteta has certainly said we, we've got more players we're looking at. Could he be the one? Let's see. Or could it be Thomas Partey? Partey again, we know all about. Excellent in that midfield. Different type of player. More of a deep-lying player or can be a box-to-box -box player, but a real beast in that midfield. Something that we've lacked for a very, very long time. We know the deal on this one. £45 million release clause. And you can get it done. Of course, we've got funds now. Martinez has gone. Torreira looks like he could be on the way out. There will be a few other players on the way out which will free up funds if we want to go and meet this release clause. But Atletico Madrid will not budge off of that release clause. If we don't pay that release clause, we are not going to get the player. It's as simple as that. So will Arsenal make a move for Thomas Partey? Or will they go for a cheaper alternative? We've seen that many times before. There is this guy, Ibrahim Sangar. Uh, he plays for uh, Toulouse. Toulouse, of course, uh, were relegated from Liga in last season. Um, again, a defensive midfielder, stroke box-to-box -box midfielder, Ivory Coast International. Um, had a good season for Toulouse, despite them being relegated. Very highly rated over there in France. And he, of course, not going to want to spend his time down um, in the second division. And, uh, of course, Toulouse will gladly take the money, said to be available for around about £10 million. He's only got one year left on his deal as well, so definitely attractive to any team that wants to buy him. There's a lot of teams hovering around that will be interested in taking him. Would Arsenal move for him as an alternative to Thomas Partey? They are said to be looking at um, Ibrahim Sangar, so we're going to have to see. And then, of course, um, another defensive uh, midfielder, Target, who we've uh, known about for a long time. Um, sorry, that's the wrong picture. It's this Bubakari Samar of um, Lille. That's a, that's another one. So the targets are out there. It does seem to be the midfield areas that we are targeting. I don't think we don't need Bamiang side. We don't need strikers. It looks like Lacazette is definitely going to be staying. You've got Eddie. You've got Willie and all these guys now, forward players. Pepe, we're good in those areas, right? Defence now, they've brought in Gabriel, they've brought in Saliba. We have Pablo Mari. That looks set. It's definitely the midfield. And if Torreira goes out, defensive midfielder, stroke box to box, or creative midfielder, we know the problems with Ozil, creative midfielder, because that is one thing about Arsenal. We still lack creativity in that midfield. One or two of those, I think both, we can get both of those, that puts us in a great position to have a go at the top four. Um, still time to go in the window. Still time to go in the window. The window, of course, shuts on the 5th of October. And those deals there, I think, will be deals that will run right up until the window. Um, so let's see. Let's see what happens. Of course, there's going to have to be players going out. We spoke about um, Kalasinac yesterday. Um, has been linked with a move away. And I did a poll. I said, should we keep or sell Aubameyang? That poll was on Flick. 85% of you said sell. 15% said, said uh, keep. Wow, you want him out. Um, 
Kalasinac um, himself, he said that he wants to stay and fight for his place. There's been a lot of clubs looking at him. The, the latest club has been uh, West Ham. Schalke won him as well. But Kalasinac uh, doesn't look like he's looking to go anywhere at the moment. He wants to stay. And, um, yeah, you guys don't want him to stay at the moment. 85%. Wow. Um, I've got another poll today on Flick. I mean, don't forget, the link is in the description. Download the app. It's free. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff on Flick at the moment. We're doing all our polls on there. Um, and this poll, this is a, this is an interesting one. Mohamed El Neni has come back to Arsenal from his loan deal. And the last few games he's played, there was that friendly against MK Don, scored a banger. And then since then, he's played very, very well. He's looked revitalized under um, Mikel Arteta. So let me ask the question. Shall we keep or sell Mohamed El Neni? What do you reckon? Shall we keep or sell Mohamed El Neni? The link is in the description. Download that Flick app right now for free. Um, and also on that Flick app, you've got a chance as well to win an Abamyang um, shirt, a Bamiyang number 14 shirt. We gave away um, the Arsenal third kit. We're giving away now the Arsenal home kit with a Bamiyang number 14 on the back. You've got to have that right now. Um, so get over onto Flick right now and enter. But Mohamed El Nini, should we keep? Or so, I think if I'd have done this poll about three weeks ago, it would be about 99% saying sell. But now... Well, I'm leaving it up to you guys. I don't want to influence the decision. I keep saying that. I don't want to influence the decision. But I'm leaving it up to you guys to let me know because now it is a very, very um, interesting question, you know? Um, one player, of course, who we know is um, definitely uh, leaving. It's not a matter of keep or sell. Um, he's sold. And that is uh, Emmy Martinez. Uh, Join Aston Villa put out a very emotional um, message to Arsenal fans yesterday ahead of his £20 million move. Um, here's his quotes. He says, With my family, I decided 11 years at the club, 10 years worked so hard. I leave through the front door today. For me, I could not be happier to leave through the front door with the Arsenal fan base supporting me and the club. I'm very grateful for the 11 years at Arsenal, even if it has been a hard road for me. Today I'm happy and I try to show all the young goalies that hard work pays off. And certainly that is so true. I'm really pleased for him myself. I mean, I would have been even more pleased had he have stayed and we'd have two excellent goalkeepers. But unfortunately, um, he wanted to play first team football. This is a massive opportunity for him. And his words are true. You know what I mean? What, how, how true is that for any young goalkeeper? Because as I said, you know, a couple of days ago, goalkeeper is only one position. It's not like when you're outfield or, you know, Ainsley, you can't get your midfield place, but we'll play at right back, play at left back. You know what I mean? Goalkeeper is goalkeeper. You know what I mean? You can't say, all right, we're going to play at striker next week. You're the goalkeeper, right? So it's really tough if you don't have that number one spot. And he has fought and fought and he's been out on loan moves and he's always been professional, always done well. And then when he's had his chance, boom, he seized it. Great example, not just in football, in life. In life, patient sometimes. Keep working hard and that opportunity will come. And when it comes, don't waste it. And he's a, a great example. And um, certainly, I wish him all the best. I think every Arsenal fan, like you said, he's leaving through the front door. Every Arsenal fan wishes him all the best. And of course, coming in to replace him is uh, Runa, Alex Runison. Of Dijon, um, 1.5 million. Remember, we've you know, I'm doing the maths, Stan Kroenke. 20 million we got in, 1.5 million spent, right? 18.5 million left. Let's use that money wisely. There are some targets out there that we should get. Get those quality players in. Uh, it's it's a good vibe around Arsenal at the moment, it's a great vibe. Just get the rest done. And we've done this before as well. We've stopped short of getting what we need and suffered for it. Many times under Arsene Wenger, I really hope we don't do it this time. I know the financial constraints. I know 
the unusual times that we're in right now with this whole COVID-19 thing. But if we could just, you know, intelligently do it and manoeuvre and get those two signings in, what a fantastic window it would be. So great news that Aubameyang has signed. So as I said, don't forget you can win an Aubameyang shirt. Um, go over onto Flick right now and enter the competition and vote in our poll today about Mohamed El Nenny. Keep or sell. Thanks for watching the show today. It's been a great day yesterday. Let's hope we get some more news um, in the next couple of weeks before the transfer window closes. It's Robbie here from AFTV. Don't forget to check out AFTV on Flick for all the latest transfer rumours, for all the information on Arsenal, for all the information on AFTV. You can check me there for Q&As on a regular basis. The link is in the description. It is free to download. Download it right now.